Imagine if you can give your kids a pack of baseball cards and once they open it up, tear into it, they open it up, just a normal pack of baseball cards, they start looking through it and they say, oh wow, that's a cool card, I got you, you Darvish, which my son's a huge you Darvish fan, so he'd be fired up on that, it's a good pack so far. Looks at it and goes, oh okay, wow, a flashback card, Greg Maddox, another good card. Wow, cool, okay, like that one. And all of a sudden, they're going through professional baseball cards and they find their own card in the pack. Now, how cool is that? During this video, we're gonna show you how it can be done. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to this video on Photography TV. We're here to educate, entertain, and inspire you around photography. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, if you haven't done so already, to follow us along. And during today's video, we're going to talk about how to create a really cool memento for some youth sporting events, you know, particularly in this case, baseball cards. So what we'll do, we'll start off with what are some really cool ways that you can use these baseball cards, and then we'll show you exactly how to do it. So as I showed you in the intro, one of the cool ways to you know, do a baseball card and give it to your kid, which will just light them up with excitement, is to put it in a pack of cards. That way when they open the cards, they see themselves in the cards. They're totally not expecting it and they get super excited. So here's how you do that. You put it in the pack of cards. Very simple. Make sure when you open the pack of cards that you do so very gently and just create a small tear. You can even use a knife like I do here to just get a really precise cut. And once you've opened the cards, all you have to do is slide the cards out. I usually take one out so it fits nice and easy. Replace it with your kid's card and then seal it back up with some scotch tape. Now, it doesn't look completely perfect, but if your kids are anything like my kids, they don't even look at it. That's why I put it on the bottom. Uh, but it really does look good to where they won't even notice. Then that way when they tear open the cards, they're just looking through normal cards and they find themselves super exciting. That's a fun thing to do with your cards once you get them created. Another really cool thing to do with these cards is you can actually create like a team gift. So I was the head coach of my son's baseball team this year and I actually had a card created for each kid and as the at the end of the season we handed them out as a team gift. So you can see here we had multiple you know, cards for every player and everyone got each other's cards. It was just a super fun gift to be able to give. And what was really cool about the team gift is I had one of the parents come up to me while we were handing out to the kids and the parents said, you know, this is special. And I could just tell it meant something to these parents to get that kind of memento. And I, I believe this is something that they'll cherish for a long time into the future and keep around. And that's really the third benefit of ways that you can use these cards is that personal memento. So you can see here behind me, one way that I use it for Ethan, my son, is they always give them a game ball uh, at the end of you know, a game where they earn it. And so I took the card, because I do a card for him each year, and I put it next to the game ball. It's just a really cool memento that they can keep. And so there's just a lot of different ways that you can do these baseball cards. I even put a card for each season in one of these plastic holders. So this is this season, uh, this was last season, and this was his first season, sorry for the glare. Uh, but you can see I have a baseball card for each year that he went through baseball. And it's just a great personal memento. Uh, and then I was the head coach. I even made myself a card. <laughs> Gotta have your own card, right? So fun, personal mementos. And so now enough about what you can do with it. Let's talk about how to create it. So the first thing you need to be thinking about if you're gonna create a baseball card is You've got to have a good photo. What you don't want to do is just take your cell phone out when the child's 50, 100 yards away, take a snapshot really far away. That's just not going to look good in a baseball card. So here's what you want to do. First off, have a tight shot, meaning fill the frame. Uh, second, if you're able to uh, get some bokeh in the background, blur the background that really separates the player, makes them stand out in the card. And then third, if you're able to, get an action shot. Kids love seeing themselves in action. Now that's not critical. You could always do a photo of them posed and just holding a bat, but the action shots, 
they will absolutely love. So that's the first tip and how to do this. You gotta have a good photo. And so I'll put a video up here, a couple of videos that just show you ideas and ways to get better photos in case you want some photo tips to help you capture that shot. Now, once you have the photo that you want to use, there's a couple of different ways that you can make the baseball card and get it printed. The first way, which is probably the easiest, if you're just going to do this for personal use, you just want something super simple, the easiest way to do that is through Tops. So Tops is obviously a major baseball card manufacturer. They actually have a site. Let's go here to the screen share. They actually have a site on their website where you can click on custom cards. And so you can see, once you click on custom cards, all you have to do is pick the type of card that you want to do, what year, or what version you like. And so in this case, I actually grew up uh, in the 80s. So one of the cards that I remember most is this wood framed card. So I absolutely wanted to use one of these for Ethan. And so you can see here, you click on the card that you like. All you have to do is insert the photo and then pick the team, enter their name, a little bit of information here, and you've made the card. It really is that simple using Topps' website. And then from a pricing perspective on Topps, they're super affordable. Uh, you get one pack, which has eight cards in it. Now it's the same card, but you get eight of them, so you can hand them out to family members and all that good stuff. But eight cards for one pack for $9.99 currently. Obviously, prices may change in the future. Uh, three packs if you want more cards to be able to hand out to more people. You know, $19.99, so on and so forth. So this is a super affordable, very easy way to get your baseball cards printed and sent to you. All you need is a good photo, drop it in on the Topps custom website, and you can absolutely do that in a very affordable way. All right, now another way that you can print these cards, if you don't want to use the Topps website, something that's already kind of pre-made, is that you can create a custom card completely on your own. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is just using Photoshop to really set the layout the way that you want to customize it. In fact, here's a good example. Uh, those cards that I opened up earlier are actually a different version of Topps cards. And I was just inspired by the card. I loved how the, the big logo was in the background. I loved the setup, the way it was designed. So I actually wanted to create my own card because Topps didn't have this version available. So I actually went into Photoshop and did what I could to replicate this card. So let me pull up Photoshop here on the screen share and you can see here's what my final version looked like and you see all the layers on the right hand side. But the reason that I create a, a custom card is I just wanted more control over setting it up and exactly how it looked. Uh, but let's say, why would you create a custom card in Photoshop? Well, the reason why you might is let's say you want to sell these cards um, as part of your business and give, you know, this as a, a business idea. Well, number one, you wouldn't be able to have copywritten logos in it if you sold it. In my case, this was purely personal use. Uh, I didn't sell it in any way. I didn't even enable ads on this video, purely for personal use. Uh, but let's say you did wanna sell it commercially. All you'd have to do is design your own card. In my case, let me just remove the Mets logo, because obviously that's copywritten, and I'll remove the Tops logo. So assuming those logos aren't in play, now this card is something that I could actually sell professionally. And so that's why you may want to create a custom card, is just to give you the ability to sell it. Or maybe you just want to be more personalized and really design it for your own strategy. Either way, using Photoshop will give you that capability, but where are you going to print it? So where you can print it, I found a website called mytradingcards.com. So again, back to the screen share here. In mytradingcards.com, they have some templates, but I felt like creating my own custom card in Photoshop is a much better way to go in that case. And you just go to create your cards, go to a blank trading card, because you can upload your design. Now you'd want to obviously know what the dimensions are, which the site will tell you, but that's a way that you can do a pure custom card. I even added a back to every card that had our season stats and uh, you know player averages, all that good stuff, which was super cool to customize it. So that's a way that you can do it on a very tailored basis. Create it in Photoshop, use mytradingcards.com to print it, or again, if you're looking for something super simple, use the Topps website. I found that to be extremely easy and great, great quality. And all three of the cards that I've done over the seasons, whether they're the Topps cards or the personalized cards that I did on mytradingcards.com, all of them are really high quality 
Um, when you feel these next to a professional card, the real Major League Baseball player's card, they feel exactly the same, whether it's the tops or the My Training cards. Both places I told you that you can print them at are extremely good quality. So that's fantastic. Um, very affordable, as I talked about on the top site. Um, and the other side, I'll flash up the prices there. Uh, but very affordable, fun to do, create a great personal mem memento, something you and your family can cherish for a really long period of time. I hope you liked this idea, just a way to have fun with photography, which is what it's all about, but create cherished memories for you and your family. Hopefully you liked it. Please subscribe to us on YouTube to follow along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.